While Chinese President Xi Jinping kicks off his four-day state visit to the U.S. with meetings with tech and business leaders in Seattle, the U.S. Department of State is gearing up for Xi's upcoming arrival in Washington, D.C., and the official meeting between President Xi and President Obama. Sinovision's resident reporter in D.C. interviewed Susan A. Thornton, the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the U.S. Bureau of East Asian and Pacific Affairs. We know that your Chinese name is Dong Yunshang. Mm. Um, how, how does it come from? Do you want to speak in Chinese to introduce your name? Uh, Let's switch the topic a little bit to Chinese American because we are the largest US based Chinese television network in the United States and we serve over 4 million Chinese American in the United States. They also hope to see the peace and prosperity in both China and US. In your opinion, what is the significance of this state visit to those Chinese Americans in the United States? The people-to-people -people relationship between the U.S. and China is growing by leaps and bounds every year. Uh, last year, of course, when President Obama visited Beijing in November, we managed to have an announcement about the extension of 10-year uh, validity visas for tourists and business people. And I know from my colleagues working in uh, China in our consulates and our embassies, the demand for U.S. visas has gone up dramatically since that announcement. And I, I know that also we have more and more U.S. Uh, citizens traveling to China for work and education. Uh, I think um, the nature of our trading relationship, um, the increases in investment flows going back and forth between the two countries are also increasing every year. And this is significant uh, for not only uh, U.S. businesses and Chinese businesses, but also all Americans as we see increased traffic back and forth. Um, I think this is only an area that's going to be expanding in the future. As you mentioned, uh, the United States and China have differences on many issues, especially the cybersecurity and South China Sea issue. How do you anticipate both countries to manage these differences through the visit? Of course, on cybersecurity, we have uh, a lot of questions and problems about some of the activities that China has been engaged in. Um, on South China Sea maritime disputes. We are looking certainly to try to see a decrease in tensions in that region. We don't want to see uh, tensions increasing or conflict break out and we think it's um, on China to come up with a way to try to resolve these disputes. Um, on human rights, of course, there's been some uh, serious concerns raised about what we view as backsliding in this area over the last year. Uh, and there are concerns that have been raised by uh, groups and uh, all kinds of people about various pieces of security legislation being considered in China that would have a negative impact on the activities of U.S. organizations and other organizations working in China. So I think a lot of those issues need to be discussed in direct terms between the two leaders so that we can avoid uh, expan expansion of our areas of difference. According to some news report, um, Vice President Biden and Secretary Kerry will host a lunch for President Xi at the State Department. Uh, would you be able to share more details of the lunch to us and will you have any engagement with President Xi? I think this lunch is going to be like the state dinner which will be hosted at the White House, a chance for President Xi to address a broad audience of uh, people from all different uh, sectors of the U.S. community interested in U.S.-China relations. So we, he, he'll have a chance to talk to business people, representatives of different um, civil society organizations, of course officials from various departments, members of Congress, and I think it's a good chance for he, President, uh, Vice President Biden, and Secretary Kerry to all make uh, remarks and have interaction with people about U.S.-China relations. I'll be there, of course, at the lunch and at some of the other events. So yes, I will have a chance, I hope, to have engagement with him.